Hello Leo, welcome to another reading. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or this connection. As always, it's meant to be a general reading, so just take what resonates, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. Check out your other placements. I have all of the different playlists linked in the description box. I have a playlist for each sign, and that way you can see other messages as well, see if they resonate for you. Today we're going to be using my Seller Soulmate Oracle deck. This is finally out now in my shop. I'll have it linked in the description box. By now, um, you maybe have already seen a video I did about this deck. I'll have that linked as well. So let's jump in, Leo. Spirit Angels, guys, messages, guidance, please for Leo regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What does Leo need to know about their person? What is their person thinking or feeling towards Leo at this time? What is their person thinking or feeling towards Leo at this time? What is their person thinking or feeling towards Leo? I wish I could go back in time. I often wonder to myself if it's too late. I love how these kind of go together. <laughs> What else? What else is this person thinking or feeling towards Leo? You have taught me so much. What's this one? I'm going to put it back, but I'm going to read it. We have known each other before. Well, that's pretty clear for this person to say that they wish that they could go back in time and you have taught me so much. I mean, yeah, there's history here between you and this person for sure, Leo. I often wonder to myself if it's too late. I wish I could go back in time. Again, this running theme with Leos and their person where one of you hurt the other pretty badly, I feel, or have a lot of regrets over what has happened. So let's see. Let's see what else we get for Leo spirit. Angels, guys, messages, please, for Leo. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo? What are they thinking or feeling? When it comes to, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened with my deck here? I'm going to take these two because they kind of fell up right here. King of Wands, Nine of Cups. What is this person thinking or feeling towards Leo? What are they thinking or feeling towards Leo Spirit? Three of Cups. Okay, so I feel like they wish they could reunite come together here with you the lovers um gemini energy at the bottom of the deck they have a desire for sure with the nine of cups but i'm also getting almost like this person could be drinking a lot i don't normally get that with this card but i am especially with this deck tell me about the king of wands what's going on here with this king of wands Tell me about the King of Wands. Knight of Swords. Tell me about this King of Wands. I mean, there's force here. Uh, um, action speed, especially with the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the King of Wands. I think they want, some, they want to tell you something. The Six of Wands. So it's not just telling you something, but with a goal in mind. Um, they want this conversation to go a certain way or towards a certain um, conclusion, I guess. Tell me about the King of Wands. Could be dealing with another fire sign here. The Chariot. Yeah, Cancer Energy. It's almost like whatever they want to talk about here. Again, speed with the Chariot, the Knight of Swords, even the King of Wands is kind of like forceful although he's a bit, a bit more careful than like someone like the knight of wands but i feel like with the chariot and the six of wands it's almost like a, a a conversation that leads to success that puts you on a path towards success that moves things forward right with the chariot to the bottom of the deck temperance yeah harmony resolution um something more balanced sagittarius energy there this is very clear energy like this is someone that's like victory I have won. I have, I have won the battle. <laughs> um, so I feel like they, this person does. If if they had it their way, they could talk to you, and 
it would lead somewhere good, more balance. Maybe even resolve whatever issue you have with this person. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. There's a Ten of Cups. Well, I mean, could that be any clearer? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. You know, I feel like this person, is, um, when they drink, especially here with this um, Ten of Cups, there's a lot of cups here, and they actually look like drinking cups, you know? Um, I feel like this person, when they drink or are out with friends, out with family, um, they kind of just think about you. <laughs> They, they think about what life could be at this time. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. How much happier they would be, perhaps? We have the Empress, the Moon, Pisces Energy, and then the Seven of Wands. So this person hasn't heard from you, or I'm getting like they don't really know much about what you have going on. I don't know if you've blocked this person. I don't know if perhaps you've kept this person at a distance from you. But I'm getting, yeah, the high priestess at the bottom of the deck also. It's almost like this person, they have nothing to do but imagine or wonder because of this, this situation right now. I don't feel like you are in um, communication with this person. But I think they think of you very highly, especially with the Empress. Um, they probably think you're very attractive. I'm getting attractive a lot with this card. I'm also getting that a lot of you Leos, um, I feel like you were the one that probably put a stop to this connection. Um, that's obviously not for everyone, but I'm getting that a lot of you, you were the ones to walk away here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? Queen of Coin. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. Hmm. Well, I don't know if there's a third party situation going on right now. Let me know in the comments if that's the if that's the case. Um, oops. Sorry, I hit the tripod. <laughs> Let me know if that's the case, Leo, if this person might have chosen someone else. Um, once again, I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. Daydreams, dreams, um, but there's not a lot going on in terms of communication or action here. Tell me, um, why are the queens here? Okay, king of swords. Five of Cups. Again, I, I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Like I'm getting that they, if they were up to them, they would already talk to you. Possibly about the past. Possibly to tell you that they miss you or think about you. Nine of Swords. So maybe this person's too too um, scared to face you or just having sleepless nights or feeling almost like a restless energy because I feel like this person, their thoughts are kind of a problem in a way, almost like they're thinking too much about you. And that's something that has um, come up in other Leo readings as well. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Well, I don't know if this person's afraid of commitment or was afraid of commitment, I feel like they want to come at you in the right way because I have the King of Wands. I have, what else came up? Another King, the King of Swords, Knight of Swords. So, you know, I, I'm getting this energy of someone who wants to be open, wants to be honest, you know, no BS basically. And also very passionate and driven. Um, there's, there's, there's a goal behind this communication is basically how I'm reading this King of Wands. Um, and, and, you know, this Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, this is about emotional fulfillment. This is not someone that just wants to have a good time. Um, I do get the sense this person could be drinking a lot. Maybe they're trying to drinking, drinking to forget you, perhaps. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, there's something here with this Hierophant that's a bit odd. I don't know if they um, decided to, like, be in a long-term commitment with someone else or are in a commitment now. 
Tell me about the higher font. Why is the higher font here? But I feel like there's regrets if that's the case because they wish it could go back in time. Six of coin, king of coin. Okay, king of coin for me typically is married. And the queen of coin came out here. So there could be a third party situation. Um, I don't know if this person made you a promise regarding the third party, but I feel like this person has been trying to keep a balance here and I don't think it's working. Um, I don't think it's working. I think they're trying to do too much and that's what I'm picking up with the six of coin, almost like a two of coin energy, especially because there's like a scale here in this particular deck. Um, even though that's not the traditional like imagery of the six of coin, it's typically a person handing, you know, someone money or whatever. But um, the fact that there's like almost like a, an, it, the, the scale is not balanced. So I feel like there's probably something here where this person couldn't keep up, you know, with this. Um, I don't know if they were juggling you. I don't know if they were going back and forth in their feelings. I don't know what's going on with them. But let's see what their true intentions or energies are towards you at this time. Wow, hold on, let's back up. Judgment and the devil, yeah. So I feel like this person, <laughs> like they go back and forth between like um, realizing that maybe they need to be doing something here um, or having an awakening with the judgment card, maybe realizing that they've made mistakes in the past, they should learn from them and move on. And then back to this devil energy, Capricorn um, energy here, where it's almost like they're stuck. You know, judgment is kind of a card about like rising, revival, resurrection, um, a new kind of like rebirth in a way with judgment. Um, it's not a card about being tied down or in an unhealthy attachment at all. So I'm getting getting the sense that this is a, kind of like the internal battle that your person's probably going through right now. And you have something to do with that for some reason. It's almost like maybe wherever they're at, whether they're in a commitment or not, Leo, it's like they're so unhappy um, that all they could do is wish they could go back in time because the present doesn't look good and neither does the future. You know what I mean? So let's see. What is this person's current energies or intentions towards Leo? What are their energies or intentions there towards Leo? What's this person's energies or intentions? towards Leo. Tell us. We have unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency, unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. We have bountiful harvest, plant seeds now watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Growth, abundance, patience. What are their intentions or energies at this time when it comes to Leo? for this connection. I definitely feel there's some sort of attachment here. Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. I'm also getting, it's almost like the, this attachment should have been cut off or needs to be addressed. I feel like there, uh, unless this is, it's almost like someone needs to do this in order to grow something more abundant. Um, I'm also getting uh, this this idea of um, I don't know it's it's almost like they planted the seeds in the wrong garden. Okay, so we got coming together. That's that three of cups reunion, destiny meeting. Destiny has brought you together. Can I get one more for this person's intentions or energies towards Leo? Can I get one more? I don't know why, but I feel like I need to. Okay, so we have burning passion. Yeah, there's a desire here, I feel, to come together. And there's that sweet dreams card at the bottom of the deck. This person thinks about you a lot. You are a fantasy, a dream, something they imagine. And I feel like they can't like stop thinking about you here or um, this disconnect is affecting them. And I feel like all they can think about is what if I had done, invested my 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 time my energy into something else could i have could i have had something better than i have now i feel like that is really the main energy i'm picking up from this person 
So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this resonated for you or that you got something out of this reading. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below to say hi or share if this resonated. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in my Seller Soulmate deck, that'll be linked in the description box along with information on booking a personal reading with me if that's something that would interest you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thank you for all of your support and the love that you show you show the channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.